What's up everyone, this is Sam from Rococo, and today I'm going to walk you through how to purchase an asset on Motion Library, and we're also going to go through all of our different subscription plans, as well as the Teams system. Uh, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do to access Motion Library is you're going to want to download Rococo Studio from Rococo.com. So I'm on Rococo.com, you can find Rococo Studio right here under Studio. So after you've downloaded Rococo Studio, if you open it up, the first thing that you're going to see is this sign-in page for your Rococo ID. So we're going to go through this process from start to finish. So as a completely new user, what you would do is you would sign up here. I have a little test email. After you put in your email, you'll, you'll get a verification code. So if we go to our email, we should have it right here in my fresh new email account. Grab our code, go back to Rococo Studio, activate and sign in. Okay, so the first thing you'll see after you sign in is this page right here. And every, every new user is automatically generated uh, their own team, and they're put on the basic plan, which is our free plan uh, with which you can access all of Motion Library, um, as well as use other parts of Rococo Studio. So let's go check out the teams. So it will direct us to the sign in page. I'll put in my Rococo ID. So if we click on my team, we are automatically added to a basic plan. So let's go and look at the plans themselves. If we can just click upgrade plan here, we'll get a look at all the different plans. So the basic plan is our free plan. Uh, you can buy and share assets on the motion library, you have full access to the motion library. You also have unlimited members and viewers, and we'll go over this in a moment, but you can basically have other collaborators on your account who can see all of your motion capture assets that you've purchased. Um, you also get access to Rococo Studio so you can record, edit, export motion capture data using our motion capture hardware like the Rococo SmartSuit Pro. Moving up, we have the Plus plan. So now we only charge per creator per month. And so you can have unlimited members and viewers but each of these plans are only charged per creator. So not everyone on the account necessarily is being charged per month. The Plus plan adds the ability to live stream data into Unity, Unreal, Motion Builder, Blender, and Maya. We just released our Maya live streaming plugin uh, recently with the launch of Motion Library, and that's really cool. You can also enable add-ons such as face capture or virtual production products. And we'll, we'll, we'll look at those in a moment. Next up, we have our Pro Plan. Uh, this adds the ability to have video reference recording, and you can also export in custom FPS settings. We also offer a 30-day free trial for the Pro Plan, um, so you can check that out, and you can also share that with two other people. So you can add two other email accounts uh, to that trial, and they, they have the ability to use the Pro Plan as well. The Enterprise Plan is our final plan here. You get access to the command API, so that means you can control Rococo Studio from within Maya or from within Blender or the other programs like Unreal Engine or Unity. And we also have this custom service level agreement package. If you have more questions about this, you can reach out to support at Rococo.com and we can answer those questions, but that's uh, more of a specialized uh, thing. Okay, let's go back to our plans. We got our basic plan. So we're in the team collaborator portion of this plan. So what can we do here? We have the ability to top up our wallet to purchase assets on Motion Library. Um, we also have everyone who's currently on the plan here. We can subscribe to a higher plan uh, like the Plus to uh, enable add-ons. And we can also invite other collaborators to be a part of our team. So this is why we use the wallet system in Motion Library. The cool thing is that only admins and creators have access to add funds to your Motion Library wallet. However, the other roles, like members, these people can spend any money that's in that wallet. And so that's the reason that we use a wallet system. It means that you can have multiple people, but only a few of them have access to the actual credit card, and the rest can just spend funds that are already in that wallet. So let's jump into Motion Library here. And if we try to purchase an asset, like this Dancing to Music 2, let's grab this one, add it to our cart. So if we go to our cart, Asset costs three dollars, and we have zero in our account right now, so we need to top up our balance. So if we go back, we can top up that balance, 
And we, so you can top up the balance in increments of 10, 50, or 100, or a custom amount. You also have the ability to use any gift vouchers that you may have gotten. You can add a credit card method, so let's do this. After we have added a, a method of payment, we can confirm, and we're not gonna top up with 50, but let's top up with $5. Confirm and top up, and this will add $5 into our wallet, which we will then be able to spend in the Motion Library. Bam, $5 added, new account balance. So we can also, if we wanted to add another person to this team, let's say my normal email account. So this member, they would be able to spend that $5, but they wouldn't be able to use the card to top up the account. And so that makes it so you can have an admin role, and then you can have a bunch of other team members who are using the same account, using the same motion capture assets, um, but, they don't but they don't have access to the credit card, which, which is a good thing. So let's jump back into Rococo Studio and check our shopping cart. Okay, yep, we should, we have $5 in our balance now. And so if we want to purchase this, we just hit confirm the order and check out. And there we go, purchase was successful. If we go to our library here. We now own this motion capture asset. And again, anyone in our team, uh, any member will be able to view and download these assets. Any viewer role will be able to download and, and see any assets that are in the library. They won't be able to use the wallet. Only members and creators and admins can do that but only the admin has access to add more funds to this wallet. So that, that's why we use this system. So the final thing that I wanna look at is just at our add-ons and the actual way that we would go about upgrading our account. You can always upgrade to a different subscription by just clicking this upgrade plan button here. Let's say we wanted to get a plus subscription and, it, and then we'll be taken to this page right here. So, we can add uh, different uh, creator seats if we want more creators. And we can also add these add-ons here um, for face capture or virtual production depending on our needs. You'll then be directed to enter in billing information. And finally, you'll just confirm and pay. And uh, you can also use any vouchers that you might have. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about our plans or the process to sign up and get access to Motion Library, always feel free to leave a comment or question in the comments below. Um, and you can also always reach out to support at rococo.com uh, and we, our support team will take care of you and answer any questions that you might have. Thanks so much and uh, stay tuned for more awesome Motion Library updates. Bye everyone.